Hey guys, I am Ian K, and once again I'm back with uh, testing uh, Ninja in Clan Boss. So I've got a lot of comments and response from people saying that uh, cool, they Ninja can do damage, but they don't have a man either. They don't have an unkillable team. So I've built him now in a non-unkillable standard counterattack team. And some of you may wonder that counterattack may also uh, break his speed tune because he has a 10 meter increasing A1. But so I found a speed where he's able to be used in a counterattack team and still be speed tuned. So I'm going to share how he performs in a standard counterattack team. And this counterattack team is also relatively cheap and free to play because it consists of four other epic champions. It's, he is the only legendary champion in the team. But it does have a counterattack, so Skullcrusher is included. All right. So I've pre-recorded one of the run. So these are the champions that I'm using. Sepulcher Sentinel, Skullcrusher, Geomancer, Godseeker, and uh, Ninja. So um, God, uh, sorry, a Geomancer offers the weaken, Ninja offers the decreased defense, and since there's a counterattack in the team, this decreased defense is up, uh, have a better uptime than in an unkillable team. And Geomancer places weaken for a three turn. All right, so I'll start with the run, and the run also has a relatively simple setup. So this is the speed tune for the Ultra, Ultra Nightmare team. Sorry, these are the speeds. So we have 240 speed Sepulchre, 171 speed um, Skullcrusher, 192 speed Ninja, 175 Geomancer, and 173 Godseeker. And this will be their skill delay. So we only have to delay um, Skullcrusher's Counterattack by two turns, Geomancer's um, a th uh, three by two turns, and for Ninja he will have to use his a three first. Normally he will use his a two first, so in this comp we have to use his a three first. Then everyone else use their skill uh, right away, so you can easily set it up in a the AI preset. All right, so back to the run. So the Sepulcher uses a one straight away, a three on Ninja. A2 first on Geomancer, straight away using ability on Godseeker, Skullcrusher A1. And this comp is also affinity friendly because we have uh, Sepulcher using the block debuff and Godseeker extending it. So everyone has a stun except for Ninja, but Ninja will be in perfect veil, so he will never be chosen for stun. Alright, so the run is full auto right after the stun. So everyone will have um, ally protection for the for both AoEs as well as the increased defense in uh, on both AoEs. Alright, so now the run is on full auto. Uh, so this team is speed tuned even with Ninja's turn meter increasing. So even though Ninja is at is at 191, uh, sorry, 192 speed. Because he has the turn meter increase on his A1 and the counter attacks, he's actually going four for three. So he's going uh, four times to the clan boss's three, but he will still remain speed tuned. He will go four for three in the same rotation for the entire run. All right. So I'll just let this run go. Uh, I'll speed up the run and I'll come back um, at the end of the run.
All right, so we are at, uh, we've managed to survive up to turn 40 now, doing about 51 million damage at turn 40. So this is a lot of damage. So this, the team will be dying soon. As you can see, everyone is going about a quarter health. And you'll notice everyone is in lifesteal gear. So this is kind of a standard counterattack team with uh, everyone in lifesteal. So everyone goes down right there. So we have Godseeker Ninja going down at turn 43, and we did about 55 million damage already. So pretty decent. It's a really a high damage key for a non-unkillable, non-counter attack. Uh, sorry, non-unkillable team. should be dying right now all right there you have it so the team did uh, the team survived up to turn 47 and it did um, about 50 57 million damage so we can see Sepulcher doing about 8 million skull crusher 4 million geomancer as usual doing 15 million damage uh, it's a really strong damage dealer Godseeker, 11 million, and Ninja is the highest dealing damage in this team with 17.8, almost 18 million. He's doing more damage than the broken Geomancer right here. So he is really strong in a uh, non unkillable team, a standard counter attack team as well. Yeah, so I'll just go over all of the gear right now. So first we have um, Ninja. So he is in lifesteal set. He has about 4.4k uh, attack. 2.8k defense, 193 speed, 100% crit rate, 230 crit damage, and enough accuracy. So his stats is even not that crazy. Like this is a very achievable stat. Not that high attack, a low defense, because uh, we have increased defense up for the entire fight. Uh, 193 speed and uh, only 230 crit damage. So, and he's in the defense tree mastery just to reduce the damage. I probably should have taken this mastery to increase his survivability but he probably could have lasted maybe one two more rounds there all right and next we have the four epic champions which are godseeker so godseeker in the team is used to uh, extend the debuff uh, buff duration so we have the buff up all the time so she has 4.6k defense 31k hp 173 speed 100% crit rate, 256 crit damage. So she doesn't need accuracy at all. So that's why we can just pump as much damage as we can into her. We have lifesteal set and broken two pieces. Geomancer, he's also in lifesteal. So 45k HP, 4.5k defense, 175 speed. Uh, we ignore his crit rate and crit damage and 250 enough accuracy to place the HP burn. So you may wonder that uh, both Ninja and Geomancer places HP burn, so why are they used together? So the team, the speed comp that I came up with is actually takes that into account. So we can see here that every round, Geomancer places his A3 HP burn first. So he places the HP burn, and then Ninja in this turn, he only uses his A1. He never uses his HP burn. Then on the next turn, he uses a his A3, which is not his HP burn ability. So he only uses his HP burn on the third turn. And at that point in time, the clan boss is not doing an AoE hit anymore. He's doing the stun. So Ninja will be using his A2 for the entire time during the third rotation. Then when it comes back to the AoE, a Geomancer places his HP burn first. So that's why they work well together. All right, so again, now, last but not least, we have Skull Crusher. So Skull Crusher is at 171 speed, 100% um, crit rate, 248 crit damage, no accuracy, 3.8k defense, and 51k 
um, HP. So I prioritize building HP on Skullcrusher since he is the LA protector. And 3.8k is uh, technically more than enough with increased defense for survivability, but he deals damage based on defense. So I have him with some defense, as much defense as I could. All right. So just as a quick comparison, so I've actually tested this exact same comp with, uh, oh, sorry, I, I don't think I, I showed Sepulcher. So this is Sepulcher. So you can see Sepulcher has a 247 speed here, but she, she, she actually needs, she actually needs to have 240 speed for this um, speed, uh, speed tune. So she has 240 because the reason she had 247 was because I tested this exact same comp replacing Ninja with Razin just to compare their damage. So the clan boss was, um, let me open up that video. I also pre-recorded that run. Right, so, so the comp died at turn 43. So at exactly a turn 43, this comp did uh, 45 million damage. So Ninja actually did, that comp actually did more damage than a Razin comp for in the turn for turn count. So 43, turn 43, 45 million. But this comp was able to survive a little longer and survived up to turn uh, 50 and it did 55 million, which is still less than the Ninja comp, even after going an extra nine rounds. So Ninja actually is able to do a lot more damage. And here is their damage just for comparison. So Razin did 15 million. And if you remember, Ninja did 17 million. So Ninja did more damage in less turns. All right. So that's why uh, I had her at 247 speed because she needed 247 speed for that speed tune. And just to compare, I'll show you my Razin build in that team. So Razin had 5k attack, 243 crit, uh, crit damage with accuracy. So Razin is built really well. He is a really strong build in this, uh, in that, uh, in that comp, and he is positive affinity as well. So that we have that to consider. So even with all these benefits on Razin, and he has increased defense up for the entire fight. Ninja did not have any increased attack, so. Ninja still performed better than Razin, and we know how ra strong Razin is as a DPS champion in clan boss. Yep, so there it is. Ninja, really strong. Even if you don't have an unkillable team, you can still use him in a standard counter-attack team. Alright, thanks for watching. Goodbye.